oh, I'm lit. <laughs> I am zooted. Welcome back to my channel. What's poppin'? 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 I'm literally just waking up. It's 9 a.m. I'm vlogging today. I'm vlogging today. It's just time to rip off the band aid. So, welcome back to my channel. Welcome. That was so disrespectful. Okay. Hey double major, so I am so upset but I have decided to spare you all the annoying sound effects that my microphone made. You will see that I have had a lot of mic issues in today's video but I didn't want to scrap this part of the vlog because I think it's super important. A, because as you can tell I've got a new look, I've got a new install, please get into it, get into it. And also this is a hair brand that I'm working with so unfortunately you guys won't be able to hear what I'm talking about but I'm going to break down everything that you need to know about this hair in case you are interested in it as you see it in action throughout this vlog so this hair company is studio 92 hair i am an affiliate ambassador so i do have an affiliate code if you guys end up being interested in it my affiliate code is breelin 10 i'm wearing the indian deep wave bundles in lengths 22 24 and 26 with a 20 inch 4x4 brazilian hd lace closure they do have a 5x5 brazilian lace closure now that is the same texture if you guys are interested in that but if you want to check it out i highly recommend it i love the hair I can talk about it now that I've had it in for months it was my first time getting like a closure sew-in in a really long time so I was trying out new products during this part of the vlog I was sharing with you all the products that I like to use on this hair I will have all these products on my Amazon storefront which is linked down below for anyone who is interested in trying out these products on their studio 92 wavy hair or even on their naturally curly hair my styling process will look like me spraying down the hair with water and a detangling brush, then adding some moisture with the Miel, Miel, never know how to pronounce that brand, Miel Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Cream, and then finally adding the curl mousse again from the same Miel line. I also use this mousse on my edges to make sure that they are laid down. And look at that, you guys, you can't tell me nothing. I look so cute. Like, come on, the bust down middle part wavy this hair is so easy it's so beautiful i received so many compliments on it literally everywhere that i went so i love 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 my studio 92 hair and again if you are interested i will have the links in the description box down below don't forget to use my discount code breland 10. the rest of the morning i was creating an outfit for church because it was our fall festival service and i was supposed to dress comfortably and therefore wanted to create an outfit without heels I was successful, but I wanted to spare you guys having to sit through the process of bad audio. So let's fast forward and stay patient. The audio gets better. We are going to present the colors and the playing of the national anthem.
y'all it is after church church was amazing like literally so great because um it was i told you guys it was like a harvest fest today but like it was kind of like olympian go for the gold theme you saw that they had praise and worship dancers and literally so much it was amazing so it's actually way later than i would normally leave church and then i came downtown so we can go to sephora because it's the it is whoa words the sephora sale is going on right now so i am going to go and see what i can find i do have a list omg okay so i really think that i want to get either my mom or my sister a perfume now for christmas because it's on sale now and it's like i might as well just do it now but i'm not quite sure normally my mom will kind of tell us like she just likes a pretty bottle and something that of course smells good and i have a picture of her collection because like y'all saw i think like for mother's day how like we each got her perfume like if you receive four perfumes every single holiday mother's day your birthday christmas like there's no more new perfumes you know so i'm trying to find one that's like cute that maybe she doesn't have i want to try and either get the gift set for the kayali vanilla um perfume or there was another one that somebody my hairdresser told me so i'm gonna see i really want the one size powder as well as the one size setting spray um i actually was supposed to look to see if i needed any more of the fenty powder foundation i feel like i don't because i got one last time but i can't remember i want to get the urban decay moon dust eyeshadow if they have it my hairdresser was also telling me danessa myricks the bomb so i need to see what shade i am and then a court member was also telling me that the Danessa the the why do am i like tongue tied today the danessa myricks uh skin tint i think it was so we're gonna try it out and see and what else would i like maybe a new blush brush and also like a nude eyeshadow and a matte nude light nude matte eyeshadow because the one that I currently use, I love it, it's perfect, but it's in like a big Juvia's Place palette, which has like nine shades. And sometimes I like to use my other Juvia's Place palette where I can do my whole look and then I literally just use that palette for that one color. So I'm like, what if I had it as a single eyeshadow? Okay, I'm like really tired and I'm really hungry. By the time I get home, my groceries should be delivered. So I need to not necessarily hurry up, but I don't want them sitting down at the concierge desk for too long. So let's go and do some shopping. Psych, just kidding. My pastor called me and she wants me to come back to the church to have a meeting. So I had a couple things I was like going through my perfumes I was getting my stuff I just hope it's fine <laughs> I hope things don't sell out but I think it's fine I don't know if I'll come back tonight or not or if I'll come tomorrow but um so I guess no Sephora today and I'm heading back to the church y'all it is hours later um like literally hours I don't know if y'all can tell it's dark outside like 8 40 I went back and we had that meeting. Child, where is my lighting at? <laughs> like, am I supposed to film this way? Okay, interesting. So yeah, my pastor and I, we, there's a lot of things that was going on in the church, okay? We had a lot of conversations. So I just left and I ended up, thankfully, I went, I knew that I wanted to go shopping at Sephora. And so I ordered my groceries, but I had them delivered at like 5 p.m. They ended up delivering at like 5.30. So they've been sitting outside for a while. So let's just do a quick grocery haul and then um, we'll call it a night and we'll pick back this back up tomorrow. This is broccoli, forage, red potatoes, and carrots. Got these breakfast burritos. Even though I kind of make these every morning, I think it's important to have at least one thing that you can grab to go and eat quickly in your refrigerator because, or in your freezer because I'm a busy working woman, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's like, I don't have time to cook, but I don't want to not eat <laughs> in the morning time sometimes. Actually, I'm not cooking tonight. I planned on it. I really, really did. Way too tired. I'm definitely not cooking now. I'm the type of person where I don't have snacks in my house because if I don't have snacks, then I can't be snacking, you know? If I don't have it, then I can't do it. But guess what that leaves you? That leaves you with no snacks when you possibly want a snack. So, I told you guys about how I had like a pregame before Howard's homecoming with some of my cohort members, and they were going through my stuff, 
and I was like, y'all, I have no snacks. Like, I eat so clean. And it was not only embarrassing, but then I started craving something. I was like, I have nothing. So, this is kind of like the snack drawer. But first, I got some more green tea. I think by the time you guys are watching this, you would have probably already been a part of the community. Community, stand up. Some of my tea era. Um, I love a good green tea. I try and not do coffee or Celsius if I don't need to. And it's really nice to do like maybe pre-workout in the morning when I'm working out. And then this, just, you know, working on my caffeine. You guys know I'm very caffeine sensitive, but I also am like chronically tired. So anyway, I've never tried these before. Annie's Organic Original Snack Mix. That seems like a healthy type of, a, you know, snack to have. Rice Krispie Treats. I love these. These also make really good pre-workout if you're gonna do like a lot of cardio or whatever. Got some more of these Eggo waffles. I specifically like the thick and fluffy ones. Once you go thick and fluffy, you can't go back. Like honestly, you cannot go back. I also got some wild caught salmon, some pineapples, winget and drumsticks, like the party mix. All these avocados. Good, I think some of them are soft because I'm in my avocado toast era again. Also got some lemons for my tea, a cucumber, this is for my salad, and some asparagus. I was gonna eat the asparagus with the salmon, but child, since we're not doing the salmon for a while, we'll figure it out. I don't know why, I'm just craving it. Like sometimes you just want this, you know? Okay, I also want to try this tea. I'm so glad that it was in stock. Cinnamon apple spice herbal tea. You all know I'm not very much of a fall person, so I try and do things, or at least more recently, I try and get not as excited as everybody else because I can't be. Um, mint garlic, but I try and do some things that will possibly make it exciting for me. And I realize, okay, I don't like pumpkin, so all the pumpkin spice stuff it is fun. But I want to join in on the fun of also being excited for fall because it's really annoying to be a fall hater. Mott's, um, applesauce. Oh, I should have got cinnamon. I think this is a regular flavor. Or apple flavor? Eh, it should be okay. Um, croutons. Ooh, I can't wait to have a salad tomorrow. <laughs> I love a good crouton. Little makeshift snack drawer because I told y'all I don't have like any cabinet space. So this is like half stuff, half Tupperware, half a pantry, like, because I don't have a pantry here. Um, this is my snack drawer, but child. I don't even really have any snacks, yet I also don't have space for anything. So, what do we do? These are just all my salad mixes. I normally will get either the Caesar salad or the heart romaine. I, I switch it up, honestly. Lettuce is lettuce. So, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, I also got eggs. I'm gonna put everything away and talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, good night. <laughs> super late start to my day. I don't really have any deadlines. I definitely have things that I can do today to be productive, but nothing too crazy. And I was up kind of late because I was on the phone when I got back from church and I had so many issues with child. I, okay, so I ordered, I think I told you guys, I ordered chicken and mumbo sauce. By the way, I'm making my pre-workout right now, which is a Lonnie new and we're way too bright. I ordered chicken and mumbo sauce and I ordered it on my way home and then after I put my groceries away and then like literally this past weekend <laughs> I got scammed it's so not funny it's actually really sad um somebody called me from my energy company and they scammed me at the end of the day like I thought that they were legit they had like my address they had my account number so I thought that they were legit and they weren't and luckily I was able to get the money back but there was like a fraud hold in my account and so I was having issues because my Uber Eats order wasn't going through and I wasn't sure why and then I realized like oh my account's on hold because I got scammed um, and then finally when the Uber Eats order went through because I was like driving home I put it for delivery and you know sometimes I don't know if you guys have ever had this problem like if you don't 
I, I didn't pay attention to specify, like, deliver it to my home and not, like, deliver it where I'm at. So I think it delivered it somewhere near the church. Um, and then he was trying to call me, but then I was on the phone with the bank at the same time. So I ended up having, like, to wait an extra, an extra hour for my food to finally come. And the whole time I was on the phone with Ryan, my sister, my mahogany sister. We were just catching up because this past weekend was homecoming. And y'all probably noticed if nobody cares. <laughs> I didn't go. <laughs> I feel so like, I don't know. I don't think I have to announce that I'm not going, right? I don't think people noticed and or cared. I didn't care to go this year. I didn't feel inspired. I didn't feel like there were people who I wanted to see. <laughs> but it did look like it was fun. It looked like they had like a lot of activations, a lot of like produced sections it looked like it like more people came victoria monet performed and i'm in love with victoria monet so i said about that but mm. so anyway we had like a little debrief because like i said i was at the church until way late and i didn't expect that and a girl had to be telling her what's going on because ryan is my confidant okay i just on her every day like oh you won't believe what happened today so anyway i'm about to head to the gym I'm excited to see how we're going to wrap down this hair and keep her looking cute. It's late and late. I'm going to do a little bit of an Amazon unboxing. I picked up these packages yesterday. Uh, so basically, I'm hoping. This is such a cute background. Ah, welcome back to my channel, you guys. Whew, okay, so I'm hoping that in one of these packages are the things that my hairdresser told me about. And we talked about this as well. So... excited I'm in my reading era I will okay I'm gonna do a book haul later I cannot wait I'm super excited <laughs> okay not Breland is now a booktuber please don't play okay oh perfect so these are the elastic bands for wig bands no slip wig accessories cute packaging perfect so in here comes two of these elastic bands but what I like about these that she used when she was like tying down my hair that they have velcro on them so I've gone to places and they've done it before but then like you have to tie it at the bottom but the way that she did it it was nice because like you can kind of determine how tight you want it and you, I don't know something about tying it behind your head like this right here on the lace while I work out. This also, so this came with two of these, which is great. And then it also came with a new edge brush, one that has a rat tail comb on the other side. You can never have too many of these. And it also came with a rat tooth comb. So I think this was like $6. If you into closures, which I feel like, again, it's cold weather season. It's like the perfect time for it. Especially like as the holidays come up, I like just will probably do my hair for Thanksgiving. This is really nice. So you know, I'll have that linked in my Amazon storefront, which will be linked down below. So this is just a good grips. OXO is such a really good brand. I remember when I first moved into like my apartment in North Carolina and I was able to get like, I think it was like a thousand dollars at um at the container store i got a sponsorship from the container store and they gave me like a ton of money and i used it like to decorate my apartment in north carolina and so everything that i had was like this great brand oxo and it's really really nice so this is like a soap dispensing dish brush brush um which i really like because i don't like touching the dishes <laughs> but i like to like you know really scrub but the reason why I got this was not because of this, because I actually use one. I don't actually like the boar bristle ones. I like the ones that are a sponge, which I don't remember the brand that I get them from, but I, I just got some from Amazon, actually. The reason why I wanted this is because it came with like this storage set, and I thought this would look better on my counter. And so I literally just got it for this part right here. It actually comes smaller than I thought. So I thought I'm gonna be doing my live show once a week. And like even when I'm vlogging, I'm thinking like I should just have my big tripod out at all times. <laughs> I think I'm missing one book. Okay, I'll wait until the next book comes in and then we'll do a book tube haul. And I think I'm also going to finish the book that I'm currently reading. So I can also give like a review on that one. So... <laughs> 
I don't know how this is supposed to work, but I'll play around with this later. It's just like so weird. Okay, to update you guys on everything. So I'm very grateful and happy that my apartment is in biking distance to my job. So you guys are probably like, too, it's Monday morning. Why aren't you at work? So I work hybrid. I only have to go into office technically one day a week, which is Thursday, which is when we have a really big like a CPAR day, which is like the Center for Policy Analysis and Research Day. Otherwise, I have a work computer and I work here from my home office, which you guys have seen. It's really nice because I'm not completely virtual, but I also don't have to like wake up at 9 a.m. every single day. But like some days, I think even this week, like on Friday, we have a professional development, like kind of um, not necessarily workshop, but like just things that they provide for us in the fellowship uh, for us to grow as professionals. Um, especially as like activist researchers and things like that so that's on friday with the entire cohort but on thursdays we meet with the researchers so i basically bike to the office every thursday which is really really nice and exciting because you guys know how much i love my bike um but recently i didn't bring my bike here with me y'all know roxy you guys have been following me since i was biking in north carolina um, going back and forth to class. I literally, I love bike riding. It's so freeing and it's great exercise and it's a great like form of transportation because you don't have to worry about parking and especially like paying in the city. And it's actually faster to get places um, biking than driving because like, you know, traffic in the city and then it's faster than walking as well. So I love, love, love biking. And so I decided that I was going to bike to work. And recently I've been using like line bikes or capital city bikes. And the thing about capital city bikes is that they basically have docks throughout the city. So there is one in walking distance from my apartment. So I can walk to a dock and then ride to work and then dock it at a, the dock near work and then I have to walk to work. And it's about like a 20 minute commute, which is not bad at all because even though it's only like 10 minutes of a drive, the stop and go, the stop and go, the stop and go, the traffic, and then I have to pay $20 for the parking garage. And there's times where I'm like running so late where I'm like, I don't have time, like I need to get in my car. It's great that it's an option, but like if I can, I like to bike. And also there's, you know, I live in the city, so there's line bikes all around sometimes. And most of the times I'm able just to walk outside and just hop on a line bike and ride to work, which is really nice because I think it'll cost me like $6 to do that. The capital city bikes are a little bit cheaper, but the line bikes are a little bit more convenient because like you just hop on them right there and you can drop them off anywhere. So that's what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. I've been working for about six weeks now. And so there's been some weeks where I haven't had to go into the office and some weeks where like, for example, the conference week, we weren't going into the office. We were going somewhere else. So I took Ubers or I drove, but now that we're getting consistently in like the go into the office once a week, I was like, it's time for me to buy a new bike because Roxy is just old. <laughs> like, I mean, I, that literally was my childhood bike and she was rusted and dusted and you know, the tires would bust all the time and the chain and everything. And um, I left her at my mom's house, which is like in the storage unit. So now she's like not good to ride. So I was like, okay, I will buy a new bike for this you know new season of my life and uh i got it from walmart but it's a pink bike it's like roxy's little cousin basically or roxy's little sister i don't know what to call her we'll see but i'm gonna pick her up i did like a store delivery so i'm gonna pick her up probably tomorrow and with that i got some bike accessories so this is a bike phone mount Obviously, like, I need directions on how to get there. And even it's so cool to see how back when I was riding in North Carolina, they didn't have this. But now when you are, like, personally, I use Apple Maps. I know, don't kill me, okay? I know that people think that Apple Maps is, like, the worst thing to ever exist in life and that Google Maps is superior. But I just got used to using the, excuse me, I just got used to using the interface. So... That's just what I use. And I really like how it'll give you like bike directions because again, specifically in the city, there are like lanes for bike riders. So you like, I don't know, it's just really cool to see like the turn different places and stuff. So it's really nice for you to be able to see like the bike routes to take. Um, and even it'll take me different ways I've noticed, especially like going home if there's traffic or whatever. So 
I want to be able to have a bike mount for my new bike when I get it. That way I can like listen to directions on it. So I got this from Amazon. If any of you guys are bike riders too out there, I'll have this in my Amazon storefront. I'm so excited to get my bike. It's one of my greatest joys to be able to bike to work. And so I'm really excited to even like take away another barrier of like having to pay for it every day and just to have my own bike. And once I get my bike locked, bike to work, park it right outside and leave out and oh, I'm just so, so excited. So anyway, that's my little Amazon haul and I'm almost done drinking my pre workout so we can go to the gym and do, I think I'm gonna do, it's like my own personal rule to always do hit on a Monday just to get it out of the way. So I just realized that I have been playing around with my sound. I had an external microphone that I was previously using and I just took it off. Let me know, well, I, I forgot that I took it off. It fell off and I forgot that it wasn't on. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys could have heard. If you didn't hear that whole thing, let me know if you guys can tell the difference in the audio when the mic is on versus when it's not on. All right, let me show you guys a workout that I'm gonna use. I'm sure you're gonna ask. People ask all the time. I know I received so many questions and people were wondering. Influencer talk, oh my gosh. Side note, what do we think about this? I don't like it. <laughs> but like y'all, do you see my vision? This is what I was talking about too. This is the one that I like with the sponge. Uh, I forget what brand this one is. It doesn't even have a branding on it, but that's what I wanted. But I don't know if I like the black. Uh, does it look that black? I don't know, guys. What do we think? Do we like it or not? It low key fits. It fits enough. And the point is that this will catch the water, you know, when it spills. And that was my goal to get this one here for lotion and for this dish soap. That way, it's all over here. I low key don't like the way that this like this, but I literally I need lotion. <laughs> next to my thing because my hands be dry and i literally just can't take it like dry hands absolutely not absolutely not like it just gives me the heebie jeebies i've got eczema <laughs> okay i can't do it okay workout workout my main girl that i like to do my workouts with um on youtube her name is anna and she actually has her own website and everything and like a whole app and i thought about paying for it because I genuinely just like to do her workouts. Sometimes I do other people's, but I really just like hers. YouTube is called Growing Anna's, and I literally just go on here and I choose whatever workout that I like. I usually go between cardio and strength with weights, full body, hit, cardio and strength. I rarely do no equipment anymore because I just like to use weights. Um, but sometimes I will, so I'll do like high intensity, like full body cardio hit, uh, no equipment or with equipment. She has like ones with like no jumping. She also has like lower body, um, core and abs, one legs and glutes, abs and core, full body with weights, hips and abs, abs and core, uh, high intensity full. I usually do full body every time, but she does have ones where it's just like arms or just lower body. She also does Tabata, Tabata, or like sometimes Pilates ones, or like yoga flow i haven't tried those yet just because i just haven't tried them i'd be open to it but i'm kind of like i like what works for me i also don't split my workouts personally just because I like doing full body every time like ensures that every time i'm gonna like get every part of my body so today i'm gonna do the one that she actually just uploaded two days ago which i'm super excited about i love when it's a new workout and she's wearing something that's like similar to what i'm wearing okay. five minute total body with weight and then I listen to my gospel workout playlist or my uh, Christian girl rap playlist or something like that. I think it's super important about what you put in your ears. I very much so come to the full understanding that for me, moving my body and working out is worship. And I think it stems from me literally growing up at the Christian Dance Academy, like learning to dance, like and doing dance and ministry kind of all throughout my life. So I'm very particular about that now in this season of my life and it works for me. It's really nice because she doesn't talk throughout it. Like she'll have things that pop up and even like the screen will go dim when she's going to the next workout. It has like um, a, a progress bar so you can see like, okay, I'm 25% in the workout, 50%. It really helps you push. And then it also has like the timer that just goes off. So you're doing like this workout, it'll show you a what do you call like um 
uh, what do you call it? like a preview it'll show you a preview of the workout while you're doing one workout and then like it'll kind of count down like the screen will go dim and come back up so I don't have to be looking at the screen in order for me to like it's like having a personal trainer that's why I really really like this girl I'm like yeah and I don't know I'm gonna show y'all my body like I really have transformed my body I'm in a really great place in my shape and I haven't been eating that clean which is why I'm like if I just I thought I just eat clean, like how it was like in the beginning of the year, like eating my salads every day, like I would probably be even more snatched. But I definitely see more definition with me being consistent and doing her workout. So I definitely think that it works. So, and otherwise, like uh, it's good for my mind. It's good for my spirit because I'm worshiping, like I said, and it's good for my body. So I'm just like super in my fitness girl era which I love and it's also really really fun to see like your body transform with consistency it helps me want to be more disciplined in other areas of my life because I'm just like yeah if you just show up every day like things will change like so anyway I really like my new gym and my new apartment because they have the studios so there's like a small mirror with weights there and so I can literally just like be in my own zone there's like glass door so you're shut off and people aren't there like looking at you which is one of like my main insecurities at my old apartment in the gym because there was nowhere for me to just like do my hit workout to use the free weights without it being like in the big weight room or where there was like a whole bunch of windows that was literally facing the street of DC so people were walking by watching me it was very awkward um, so this makes me be even more excited to work out because I know I can do it in the comfort of my home I just sometimes I just don't like to be seen which I've realized and it's like that's fair I'm able to have that if I want to so anyway I'm literally chatty patty this morning which for 10 a.m. on a Monday morning I don't know why this is the case I literally try and wake up at 7 30 and be at the gym by 8 so like I'm way 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 late in my schedule but I think it's going to be okay because most of what I have to do, like I said, is not really work work related today. So we can go on into the evening. I just need to like edit some videos, get some content stuff done, and honestly just cook dinner. The apartment is pretty much clean. So I love this. I love this for me. I'm totally living my best self life, which is why I have all the opportunity in the world to be in the best shape of my life, my body and spirit. I'm just in a really good place. Anyway. Let's go work out. I want you to breathe me. Let me be your air. Let me roam your body freely. No inhibition, no fear. I will deep fish your love. So like the ocean, what devotion are you? I will deep fish your love. So like Nirvana, hit me harder again. I will deep fish your love. you to breathe me let me be your air let me roam your body freely no inhibition no fear i will deep fish your love so like the ocean what devotion are you i will deep fish your love so like nirvana hit me harder again i will deep fish your love
Okay, so I just finished, well I didn't really finish working, but I paused working to start cooking and I stopped downstairs to get my package. Cause I did get a factor meal come in. I didn't end up eating lunch today because I think I ate breakfast so late that I wasn't hungry. So yeah, but I had therapy, I made breakfast and I've just been working on some constant things and some stuff for the church. So now for dinner, we're keeping it really simple. I'm literally just making, wow, it gets so dark in here in the nighttime, even with the lights on. I don't care about what factor meals I get. I really wanted to show you guys how, in addition to my regular factor meals, which by the way, I don't get this every week. I skip it, I honestly get it like once a month. I also got this keto sampler pack of juices or these are keto shakes and then we also have some uh, keto cookies so peanut butter chocolate and I told you guys I have one protein shake powder it's from Alani new but I just don't know how to use it I'm like do I mix it up with my coffee and do like a protein like do I just do a whole bunch of milk it's just kind of weird to me and I'm not sure if it's way or not way but I think it possibly is breaking me out or was that's gonna be doing great right now so I kind of don't want to add anything to it but anyway we have a vanilla cake keto shake I'll try this after the gym tomorrow we have chocolate brownie I'm not really a chocolate girl but you never ooh, you never really know when it comes to this stuff. Sometimes the chocolate be hitting, you know? And key lime pie. I don't even think I've ever even had key lime pie before. So these are each 200 calories. This isn't sponsored by the way. I'm literally trying this on my own. And then what is this? Bit long original air dried beef. 16 grams of protein. I'm curious about this. I wanna try all of this. I'm like, should I have one of the keto things for dessert or should I have one for after my workout right you need the protein for after workout mm, this is interesting it kind of looks like dog food <laughs> like I'm gonna eat like a little a little bite just because we're here and I'm curious it's also cold which I don't think I like mm, good to me premium cuts of beef covered in a special blend of spices to make our version of this classic South African treat. The beef is air dried for two weeks and thinly sliced into tender strips to make the perfect on the go protein snack. It's good. I'll add these things to my snack cabinet, which is now overflowing that I'm like buying snacks. I don't need no more snacks, child. I actually remember to choose my meals this time. I was going through all of them in my freezer and my refrigerator kind of slowly because I didn't like what I, I like if you don't pick by a certain day they just give you whatever and they gave me whatever and I didn't it's not that I didn't like it I just wasn't excited for it you know so I'm excited about these meals even though I said that I was gonna go kind of crazy on the salad so this will literally last me like two weeks because I won't eat these every day for lunch for dinner we're gonna do literally chicken and broccoli and one of these little pasta size keep it very simple it shouldn't take me too long to finish and i'll probably work a little bit while the chicken is in the air fryer good morning you guys happy tuesday uh so we have a very busy day today i'm up on my way to the gym oh my gosh it's already 8 45 what is happening i woke up later today because i went to sleep a little bit later um, I was editing my first video back yesterday and I realized that my sound was completely messed up which completely breaks my heart because now I have to refilm it and I really wanted it to be when my hair was like that and not like this but we do what we gotta do so I have to um, go to the gym come back shower I'm gonna look at my notion to look at my weekly plan to see all that I have to do today because tomorrow my first research assignment is due and I've already turned in two drafts and then I have a one-on-one -on -one with my director today I'm at 4 30 so I have to make the changes probably like in the afternoon till tomorrow or we may push back the, the first day I'm not really sure 
but anyway, I need to do gym, shower, breakfast, come back, makeup, film that video again, and then I'm also going to film this one video for Instagram for my pageant page. You guys know I competed as Miss Navy Art last year as Miss DC, and I am deciding to return again, so if you guys want to keep up with my escapades for the rest of my year as Miss Navy Art, you can follow me on Instagram at Miss Navy Art DC. The national platform for the Miss America organization is the American Heart Association. And so the Miss DC organization is going to the DC Heart Walk, which is the American Heart Association, like greater Washington region's heart walk. So that's this weekend and I wanna do a video kind of promoting for that. Then we're gonna to go to Walmart, pick up my bike. We're gonna go back to Sephora because I need to get the stuff before the sale ends. And then I wanna be able to be back by 4.30 so I can go one-on-one with my director and then I need to edit that welcome back video so it can go live tomorrow. So that's our agenda for today. Um, we're getting a late start to the day, which is not ideal. And I fell asleep without my phone being charged, which never happens. Oh, isn't it so beautiful and vibey during the morning time? Oh, I love my apartment. I'm gonna head to the gym. I'm not gonna bring you guys along with me today because I didn't got the, the gist from yesterday, but I'll bring you guys back up probably when we're full glam and doing something else. And also, it's a Celsius type day, Celsius flavor of the day is orange and I have been doing better with my caffeine intake like yesterday I did green tea and it did me good you know if I don't really need it need it need it but like I gotta like I gotta be on one today so mm -hmm. I'm showered and I'm feeling good just made breakfast I'm trying to hurry up so I can get my day started i love how this is in the background cute okay time to get glam welcome back to the girl cave love this thing all right so i want to do a full face because it's my first video back so i gotta come correct all right what should we watch on youtube while we're getting ready it needs to be fast do i want to watch youtube or do i want to listen to music i I've really been in my music era because of my Alexa, but I think I want to watch YouTube because I'm going to have to listen to music when I drive today. Gen Z spelling bee you will probably fail. That's a whack podcast. Alicia the Fiance Stealer and Remy the Witch Halloween Special. Oh my gosh, from Pretty Basic. I love, I literally cannot wait. Oh, I get it because they're trying to do like a play on, I cannot wait until, um, well, first of all, The Wiz, I don't know if you guys know, I'm such a theater girl. Like, I really could go back and be in the theater. Like, I used to love my little theater girl days. But anyway, so The Wiz is about to be on Broadway. And so they're doing like a national tour. But the tickets sold out in the D.C. I think, I can't remember if it was at the National Theater or if it was at the Kennedy Center. But literally the only tickets that were available were all obstructed views and like i would drop a bag to watch a show personally because i like experiences and i love the whiz like the whole the whiz wicked like that's like i love it y'all see i literally danced to the whiz before that for my talent for um, miss dc and at miss maryland my first pageant that i ever competed in my talent song was from the whiz but the re the remake that was on nbc like I eat it up. I just think the storyline is so good. The movies are good. The musicals are good. Like, I love it. <laughs> like, anything that was, I'm going to be there. Um, I don't know what I love about that storyline. So, I just think it is so unique. I think it is such a good storyline. All of them. Anyway, so I'm super excited. I talked about this in my birthday vlog, which is interesting because y'all have just seen that. Because for my birthday, I went to go see, or I think I saw Hamilton on my birthday. But when I was in London, I saw two shows um, at their theater, like their, whatever, I don't know what they call their, I forget, West End, it's like their Broadway in London, and that was like the best thing that I could have done, I thoroughly enjoyed it, especially because I haven't seen, so, I feel like I'm telling the story again because I haven't edited those vlogs yet, so to me, I haven't talked about this in like six months, but for you guys, you're like, we know, you just talked about this. The point is that I'm really excited for wicked the live action movie to come out because it's similar to how i watched legally blonde 
the musical like just in my free time <laughs> sometimes like before interviews or whatever just because I love the storyline of it like I just think it's so good and I'm telling you guys the Wicked that I saw in London was so good because all the three main characters were black and they ate it up like that was the best Glinda I've ever seen she was so good so I'm very curious to see how Ariana Grande does Glinda I think she's also going to be amazing. I think she's going to be amazing singing wise, but I'm like the acting, like the acting. I don't know if she acts too, but it's like, I don't think you understand. Like, I don't want this to be a base for my eye today. This is why I got to go because I'm not focused, but I think it's cute that they did this. That was a really cute Halloween idea. And I'm super excited about the live action to come out because I love the musical. Oh, period. Look at the face. Uh, okay. Hey guys. Welcome back. So I just finished filming the video. I checked the audio. Everything looks fine. So I hope it's okay. I actually realized that I still have this thing on like manual sound, but like you could hear like, like in the back of the video. I'm like, what is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> I don't like that. And it was like unsalvageable. Like it was really, really loud. So I was like, okay, awkward. Um, it's really crazy because, I mean, I don't know. I've been thinking I look so pretty and then I turn on the camera and I'm like. <laughs> and that's why you see a lot of YouTubers get like surgeries and things done because it's something about seeing yourself on camera. I'm like, I promise you I'm prettier than that. Like, I literally don't understand what's happening. Like, what's going on? Anyway, I also want to tell you guys about how. I think I talked about that. I'm not sure if I'm going to film a whole apartment tour because my apartment is not done yet as a part of the Being Breathing Archive. You guys will probably know and have seen it by now. But I'm like, do I want to do one now or do I want to wait because I'm not really done, but I'm like kind of done enough. I Listen, I love this apartment. I love it down. I love it down. I love it down. But the spacing is if the spacing is different than my other one was. So I have like one less closet, less drawer space. So there's a lot of like places that I there's a lot of things that I don't have a place for. And so if y'all familiar with this right here, this is not supposed to have stuff in it. <laughs> and when I tell y'all I have filled it to the max, okay, I literally put a lot of things in here. A lot of my tech equipment because listen I love hooray media I love but stuff like what am I supposed to do with this in here I have like all my podcast equipment but I have like multiple lights multiple tripods multiple like it's so much stuff and I'm grateful for it but I'm like I just don't have the space for it and I'm sorry, I know I'm not supposed to put things in this closet, but y'all, I got to. Because I have to, I have to put it somewhere. It's really trifling, because I'm like, I should not have this stuff in here. I don't think it'll blow me up or nothing, but I know it's not safe. Okay, I'm back. That did not take long at all. And I will just say that I am so proud of myself, because there were three people in the gym. I get it, 12 p.m., it's 1240 now. Like, literally, some people like to work out, if you're working out at home in the middle of the day and I was like I don't care I'm gonna film this content and I'm gonna mess up it's okay and I'm gonna get through it <laughs> all those years of doing picture ventures and having to take pictures on the side of the street but I think it's a muscle like you just have to remind yourself that literally nobody cares at the end of the day I'm proud of myself because I did it I got it done and it doesn't matter what they thought about me because I know what I think of myself <laughs> Next up, we are going to pick up our bike. On our way to pick up our bike. I'm trying to decide if I want to change outfits or not. I actually hate this outfit. Obviously the American, or maybe not obviously, but this video that I was doing, I think I told you guys, is like in preparation for this weekend's American Heart Association. Colors are red. This is one of the only red workout sets that I have. And like it is cute, but I just don't like the lace detail. It's from Fabletics. This is before I really was like really working out like that. But this is a good like athleisure, like something just to wear throughout the day type of thing. So I might as well just go ahead and keep it on. I did end up buying a new red set to wear on Saturday. And that includes a red jacket. 
Um, I normally get my work, I get my workout jackets from everywhere. <laughs> Y'all know I have a lot of them. Cause I just, when I decided that this is my uniform, child, I was wearing one every day. So, oh, this one is from Amazon. Sometimes, I don't, why do I feel like the red on red is a lot? Even though I literally do this every time. And it feels good outside. Everybody was saying that the temperature dropped. Yesterday it was 80 degrees. All red. Ripping the, I just don't like the lace. But this is kind of cute. Maybe I'll, I'll wear this. Since I already have it on, we can pop these tags. Okay, two things. One, I forgot to mention that today is Halloween. But I don't really, so, you know, y'all know. Look, y'all. <laughs> I'm so upset that Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday album has been postponed. Like, what do you mean, Nicki? But I get it because I think it's 2, Ch two Chains and Lil Wayne are coming out with an album on the same day. And I'm like, Tunchi, why are you doing that to our girl? Like, you know that she's very temperamental. Like, she will change that date in a heartbeat. I don't know if that's really the reason why, but that's the excuse that she, you know, created. Not excuse. Let me stop playing with mother. I love wearing the colors, but why does this give like tomato? It's like giving boo, tomato, tomato, tomato. <laughs> I really don't feel like changing, that's the problem. Oh, I was gonna say, you can tell that I miss you guys because this vlog, I was like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna vlog a little bit like every day for the next couple of weeks. And then that way by the time it's time for me to like do an update, I have like vlog footage. This vlog, we're probably an hour in. It's Tuesday at noon and I have been chatting like crazy. Like I really do this vlog thing. Like I could really put out probably two hour long vlogs every day if I didn't stop myself. But it's also because I don't know when I started watching her, but one of my new favorite YouTubers, her name is McKenna uh, Walker. Do you guys watch her? And I love it because she is like a mom vlogger. But like, she's not, she doesn't do mom vlogs. Like she's a girl who does like lifestyle vlogs, but she has children and she's young. Um, and she lives in like Dallas, Texas. So it's just really, or Austin, or no, I think Dallas. It's just really interesting to see like people be mothers. <laughs> like I would just be like, wow, that's crazy. Um, you know, soon come for me, not soon come, whoa. Not soon, but one day, like I will be a mom. And so it's like nice to see people in spaces that you don't occupy. It helps like form your mind. It's like, oh yeah, one day like I'll do this. So that way I can just start dreaming and imagining. It's gonna be some years, but not too, not too many years. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like if you're in high school, but you're watching people doing college vlogs. When you're in college, you watch people doing med school vlogs. Like it helps you just like aspire to live that life one day. And because I'm so like, child, I don't want a baby no time soon. It's like helpful to be like, oh, like motherhood does seem cool. Anyway, she uploads like two and a half hour long vlogs, like weekly, like, but I love her vlogs because she just be talking. And it's really nice to have her like vlogs up when I'm just doing things. Like she's my girl where I like to watch her like when I'm taking off my makeup at nighttime or like if I'm cooking or just like relaxing. I've noticed that with me living alone, even though I've lived alone now for like two years and I've lived alone before, but it's very nice to have like YouTube videos going on in the background. Even though I don't mind being alone and I don't mind silence, but there's something about like a YouTuber who vlogs if you're on FaceTime all the time that feels like they're there with you. And so if you don't feel like being alone or just, you know, don't want to be silent, it's a really nice like thing to have. So she's like my kind of, I don't want to say she's my comfort YouTuber, because she's new but like she is my like hangout youtuber like i love that she has these like long vlogs and i always end up tailoring the type of content that i make based off of like who i'm watching because i like to create the content that i like to watch myself and so that's what i'm into and like she will just be doing a whole bunch like she does stuff but then like does nothing at the same time you know but she just vlogs what she's thinking and i just be tracking with her and i just love it and so now i'm at the place where i'm like oh, i'm just gonna tell you guys whatever's going on in my mind as i vlog throughout my day and each clip is 10 20 minutes long but i live for it but i'm also like girl this is supposed to be short clips but i just don't think i'm the type of person who could do i could if i wanted to but i think that i just i'm happier and i thrive better when I know that I'm doing like long form content and I'm just 
chatting with you guys. I really am trying to figure out a way of how I can make this into short form content, you know, and get on the TikTok and stuff. But I've been trying to do it for months and months and months. And I'm, I just, I don't know how this can be translated into the short form because I just like to pick up the camera and talk like we on FaceTime. And I think like, it just, it, this is organic and it's natural. But on TikTok, it's like you have to think about like what your punchline is going to be. Like it has to be so fast that I think it's like I overthink it. But anyway, that was a very long spiel for me to say what that this is going to be a very long vlog. I picked up my bike, y'all. I'm so excited. If I had time, I would totally like do a joy ride. Oh my gosh. Maybe if I finish everything after my meeting, maybe I could take a joy ride. And mind y'all, I don't drink, but I used to dibble and dabble back in the day. And you know how it is when you drink and you're really at your limit, but like you're trying to maintain the litness that you're at. And so you take like one more drink, shot, ooh, shot, whatever. And then you realize like, oh, that was like one too many. But you don't know until you've done it and you like, Oh Lord, that last little sip of Celsius that I just took, that just put me over the edge. I'm over here wondering why I have so much energy. And it's like, it's such a hard balance. This is what I'm talking about where I'm trying to work on the amount of caffeine that I intake because finishing a whole Celsius in a day is wild. Like, yes, I use it as pre-workout. Yes, I worked out. Yes, I have a long day. And my goal is like, I know that I can't drink it past like 2 3 p.m so it's also like i mean you kind of had to finish it soon but i didn't have to finish it like i like to usually just drink half of a celsius i don't need a full celsius i don't know if y'all heard when i took that last gulp but it was giving this is your last gulp excuse me you know what i'm saying like i don't need to be drinking a full celsius dude i'm literally in a turning lane and i put my whole whatever he would just be mad driving in the city that ain't got nothing to do with me anyway the point is child that i'm about to go on a bridge it's about to be real dark i started when i sat down for a minute i was like oh i'm lit <laughs> like i am zooted i am like when we be calling celsius our crack our crinac the red eats my home i never wear red. i don't say i never wear red i don't wear red enough and I try and look for it in stores because, please be for real, it gives. But I think it with the, the black long hair, middle part bust down, it's a bit intense. Like, is it not a lot? But it's okay. We're gonna, whoa. I did not see that happening. Let me pay attention. Um, and let me get up off of here because here we about to have another five minute clip. I just wanted to say that as soon as I sat down for a second, then I started to feel my heart racing and I was like, oh, I drank too much, but it's like i realized too late i shouldn't have taken that last little sip i didn't really need it on our way to get our bike i really hope it's already assembled because it didn't specify and if not i'll probably get a task rabbit to do it because soft life like be for real uh, and i need it done right i don't need to be like oh i can do it and then <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's one that's two and three if we have time afterwards i would love to take a joy ride because i need to ride it around before uh, work on Thursday I could also do it tomorrow because I don't really know what I have scheduled tomorrow um not too much though today is really the day where I have a lot of things going on oh my gosh the green the foliage is so beautiful shout out to fall y'all look how pretty I love me some DC I then that mindset literally from when I went to sleep I woke up like all right let's go let's go let's get it like today's gonna be a really busy day which is why I allowed myself to intake more caffeine than like I really needed. But in my mind, thing I need this because it's gonna be like a really busy day. Does that make any sense? I know I'm talking so fast. When I was filming that video, when my when my when I start tripping over my words, that's how I know I'm speaking too fast. And although I think I speak at a fast enough pace, you know how some people be talking too slow, and you be like, get to it, get to it, get to it. Let me know down below, do you guys watch anybody's videos on 1.5 or 2 point speed? There are some people's videos where I realize I like you if I watch your video on 1.5 speed <laughs> because some people just be talking too slow. Um, I wonder, do y'all do that just with people in general or like I know some people do that with all videos. 
if I have a lot of people, like if my subscription box is popping and I'm trying to get through it, it's like, yeah, let's get through it to point speed because I need to like, I need to watch, but I ain't got time. There's some people though who you can't watch to in two speed because they talk so fast. Do you guys do that in general? And if so, do you, am I, ooh, am I the type of person where you have to slow me down? Like, do you have to watch me at regular speed? Do you have to watch me at two times speed because you think I talk too slow? Or do you not notice? Comment down below. I'd love to know. All right. We're picking up our bike. Another five minute clip. <laughs> it's lunchtime? Like, why is everybody outside? Oh, it's because Halloween. Is that what it is? Thank you. <laughs> Y'all, she's so cute. She's so cute! No, I'm screaming. I'm so excited. She's even like a cuter pink than I thought. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's literally Christmas. It's literally Christmas. Like, I'm so excited. It's I'm zooted. I'm so ig. Excited. Oh my gosh, like I have to share this with the world. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, I'm in this Walmart parking lot acting a fool. People are driving by looking at me like I'm crazy. Roxy's little sister! What should we call her? Rosanna? Rosanna Unana. I know it's, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, <sighs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I did not wait so long to do this. This is literally Christmas. It's like one of the most exciting days of my life. <laughs> y'all, I think y'all know too that I'm literally not even lying. <laughs> like I'm not even being dramatic. I like, I was excited. I was like, oh, I gotta show my guy. The, the amount of joy <laughs> that I feel on the inside, the endorphins that is that are released. Like I'm finna just go outside and bike. Cause I feel, please don't play with me. Okay. Let's do some shopping. Hopefully we can find some cute home, de home decor stuff. That would literally make today like even better. This is kind of cute. I really am looking for like a nice brown purse to wear. What? No way this is $40. I guess, guess it's not that expensive. But I don't think this will fit my laptop. I'm in my purse era right now. I have been buying so many new purses. Big, small. I want a maroon one, like this color. But the other shape. And not like this though. Like, but bigger. Like laptop, like work bag. And like I said, I really want a brown one. But like this color brown. And so my room one, a brown one, and then like a dark blue one. Even though I just bought a light blue one. Oh, like this. So this is, this doesn't feel like great quality. Anyway. Let's see what else we could find up there. LOL. Oh, I do not need to be shopping. Oh, this one's cute. That's a good work bag. But they're always in that light brown color. They're never in like the dark chocolate and when I wear nude shoes, this is cute. This is so cute. I do not need this. I do not need this. But I know I would wear it, but I don't need another black bag. It's so cute. That's so nice. Oh, I actually don't think I've ever been to this Burlington before. It is like overwhelming. Not in a good way though. I don't see anything in here for real and I don't need to be buying stuff just to buy stuff. Oh no, my camera battery is gonna die. What I do need are pillows for my couch and I keep saying I'm gonna take a picture so I can make sure it's the right type of white because it's like a cream. Anyway, my battery's gonna die. I will vlog on my phone if anything exciting happens. I'm so sorry. I should have switched out my battery after I filmed the video today. I should have known better. I'm so sorry I failed you. Okay, Ross was a dub. Y'all didn't miss anything. We're gonna drive over here to this Marshall's. Oh, I did buy some stuff. 
from Burlington. I'll do a haul later. But we're gonna drive over to Marshall's. A little bit too far to walk. And then make our way to Sephora. I'm like trying to hurry up because I really don't want to be late for this meeting. I think if I start driving by, I could always do the meeting from my car, but I'm just afraid of traffic. And I think I should be sitting down because I meet with her once a week. She'll be like, girl, where are you at? Why do you have a full face of makeup on? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I need to be at home at my desk so that she think I be working. Eek. <laughs> which means I have 20 minutes before my meeting with my boss. I have been so productive today. I'm like so proud of myself. Literally after this meeting, all I have to do is edit the video and I have all evening to do it. So it's like, no way it's not gonna get done. I was starving while I was out and I'm so glad that I did not spend money on food. I was like, girl, you got food at home. Specifically my salads. I'm really trying to get good at eating my salads early in the week because you know, they go bad. Um, when they sit in the refrigerator for too long. I also try, I didn't do it this time, which I should have done yesterday, but on Sunday, y'all saw I got in late, I, I didn't feel like it, but having them meal prep like this makes it easier for me, because right now I was like, dang, I only have 20 minutes to eat. Like, it kind of takes a minute to make this salad with all the different, you know, accoutrements, accoutrements? But all the toppings, <laughs> it can be a lot sometimes. So I was like, dang, I don't really have time. Like. I'll just go ahead and put one of my factor meals in. But I was like, oh, I forgot. I already have this salad meal prepped and ready to go. So I can just put it on in here, put some dressing on, shake it up, and eat it. And it doesn't take me longer than 20 minutes to eat. So I'll be nice and ready and fresh for my meeting. There's no excuses why we're not eating healthy. I'll have it linked down below in my Amazon storefront. Oh, I meant to try one of these today. I should have taken one with me, but I didn't. Um, I say all of that, but I'm literally going to use some creamy ranch. Oh, and I don't think I've talked about this in the vlog, but I finally got the um, Chick-fil-A avocado lime ranch dressing. I'm so excited. I was trying to get it from Walmart for a really long time. And every time I went, it was never in stock and I'm not near Walmart. Or at least the Walmart that I used to be near in my old apartment, it, like literally it shut down now because it was known for never having anything in stock. So... I mean, that really wasn't near me, but that was the closest Walmart. Anyway, so when I went to Harris Teeter one time, because I was trying to figure out if I wanted to continue going to, um, if I wanted to continue going to Wegmans for grocery shopping, or if I wanted to go to Harris Teeter, because I just remember Harris Teeter being that girl when I was in North Carolina. And I did enjoy my experience, and they ended up having that dressing, but um because it's mainly the brands like sometimes Wegmans doesn't have all the brands you know and it's like I, I like name brand stuff I guess it's not necessary anyway I'm gonna do this meeting and eat my lunch and then I will do the haul for you guys and then I have to do my book to review so we'll talk later how exciting my first research paper is basically done um it's due tomorrow i have a few more things but not so much and i don't think i have much to do tomorrow so literally i can do that all day tomorrow i can like actually sit down and work and have that in like literally the last things i have to do are like find photos and 
like yeah so i'm really excited look at my little notebook too that they gave us during alc cbf nrei for social justice yes come on red she's a researcher i'm so excited my first publication ah! oh, I'm so excited. oh and by the way if you guys want to read this because y'all know as the health equity researcher actually she assigned me this but i'm really glad about it did i talk, i think i talked about this in, i don't know if i talked about this in a vlog or not i know this is my first like weekly vlog but i've been like kind of picking up the camera here and there but my first research assignment is entitled understanding the white house blueprint for addressing the maternal health crisis so basically the biden harris administration created a 470 million dollar budget allocation to address maternal specifically black maternal mortality and morbidity here in the u.s and it was like a 70 page document they call it again the blueprint for maternal health and so i went through and i made it easy to understand the budget allocation like where's the money going to the different goals of how it addresses perinatal health disparities focusing on the perinatal health workforce um implementing implicit bias trainings for healthcare professionals expanding the maternal health initiatives in rural communities, the Medicaid extension, uh, the expected outcomes on black maternal health care, as well as expected outcomes and impact on black maternal care. Policy recommend, uh, first of all, black health care, okay, which is super important, which is why I love this. Like, you don't have to hold your tongue with the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation because it's like my, one of my big notes was like, no, how does this impact black women? I'm like, Oh, say less. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so that's really, really fun that that's like a whole big section of this. And then I ended up with the policy recommendations and the actionable steps for everyone, citizens, healthcare professionals, etc. Um, so yeah, I'm almost done. I'm going to finish that off tomorrow. And uh, it's like an hour long meeting. I always get really, really nervous when I meet with her. She's super nice. I love, 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 love my boss. But you know, it's just kind of like... Oh, but I was saying that I will have, by the time this is out, it'll probably already be published in our journal and there is digital access to it. So I'll have the link down below if you guys want to check out my first publication with the CBC app. Oh, I'm like so, I'm so excited. This is so fun. <laughs> like I thoroughly enjoyed this. She said I did a good job and everything. So I just feel really happy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm so glad that this is all going well. And I'm really enjoying myself. Like the days where you just have to sit, like the day that I started and it was like, wow, I am at, like, I think now we've marked it down to about nine pages, which was about, it's about 3,500 words, really breaking it down too, because it started off at like 12 pages, but to go from zero to 12, and it's like, I really, I just love how this works because it's kind of like being in class, but like having a one-on-one -on -one professor and like, so we have deadlines and we have like outlines and things. So it's really easy for me to kind of just like track, like, okay, I need to be working on the next draft and then she'll go through it. Like, I'm, I'm not just like free balling out here, but anywho, oh, I really want to like sit down and watch YouTube videos for a little bit. Okay, it's 5.30. I think the best thing to do is to edit the video that's going to go up tomorrow. And then by the time I finish editing, it should be time for dinner. And then like I said, after dinner, we can do our haul. And then we can call it a night. Like literally what a day. Wednesday I decided to sleep in a little bit this morning and take a later start to my day because I was up really late I told y'all that Celsius had me zooted if y'all ever get influenced by me to drink a Celsius don't drink the full one especially if you've never had it before which reminds me I did some editing yesterday and I realized that I just completely messed up the audio on like all my videos I'm gonna change the audio and fix it now but anyway gym outfit of the day I'm gonna go Oh, and I didn't fill my haul yesterday because then the sun went down and whatnot. Gymshark, Gymshark. I'm going to do arms, I think, today. 
because I did legs yesterday and then both tomorrow and Friday I have to go into the office so Thursday is usually my off days for the gym which is fine but Friday I guess I'm not gonna work out either because I think I'm gonna hang out with my cohort afterwards and so we may just be a three workout day but I am working out on Saturday I like to do four sometimes five this week we're like we're doing three sometimes four it's all good we're fine I also need to cook dinner tonight because I ate the last bit of my chicken so I have to edit my last edits for my research project submit that today I need to I edited my YouTube videos so I just need to do like the thumbnail the description box do all the promo let everybody know that I'm returning back I'm kind of getting nervous about that and I just have so many other like little things that I need to do so I don't think I'm gonna vlog much today because I've just been chatting but after I get back and I eat and I start working and when I take a break I'll come back and we'll do the haul of everything that I got yesterday it's official my first research assignment has been submitted I'm all done I'm all done Okay y'all, so I'm going to take a little bit of an editing break. I have the video uploaded and scheduled to premiere at 7 p.m. It's 4.55. I was going to do 5 p.m. because I normally do live at 5. I'm so nervous. I'm trying to get my other things together too, like make some thumbnails and then I think I'm going to go back and edit whatever. I don't know like what I want to do on Instagram. If I want to do pictures to announce it or if I want to do a reel to announce it or I have to figure that out. Um, so I'm going to edit that next and then I have some other things I need to edit too. Let's go ahead and do this haul. So the main thing that I got from Burlington are these pillows. And once I get one thing, so I might as well go ahead and get the mug and the other stuff. I was curious to see how this would look on the couch. Like it kind of adds some gold because like I have gold over here, you know. So, oh, dang, this is hard though. If I take this off. Okay, I think it goes. I think it's kind of cute yeah okay cute cute so decorative pillows set of two these were like thirty dollars I think um anyway they're not necessarily comfortable they're not like scratchy either but I think they're cute they kind of like warm the place up anyway I did end up getting now why did she not put this in paper but you know what it's none of my business I'm not my business I did end up getting the mug that I showed you guys which is really pretty and cute this is perfect for community time which is by the way by the time you guys are watching this you're probably like we've already been doing things but I am now just announcing the community time that's the videos and stuff that I'm editing which is why I'm like so nervous uh hopefully things have been going well by the time you guys are watching this and if you haven't already please tune in and start watching it's pink. It's a really big bowl, which I love. I just love a good cup, you know, a nice big cup. Oh, it's so nice. So maybe I'll use this mug when I make my cup of tea during my first episode. Anyway, last thing that I got, I always get these when I go to Burlington. They're really from Burlington near me, but I love to put these in my car. I talk about them all the time. They're just like decor scent. You can put them in your closet, um, in your gift bags. Like this made this whole bag smell good. Trash bins, like at the bottom of bins, whatever. I like to put these in my car and it smells good and that's everything I got from Burlington so for a haul later but let's do Marshall's because didn't expect to buy anything from here either but with me being a working girl I'm just like so 
obsessed with buying professional clothes because I actually have a place to wear them to and this is something that I will always need forever and ever and ever like I will always be able to utilize these things so I was looking for a new blazer I literally think I already have this same one but for some reason my blazer just looks dusty like I really just like the fabric of this my main problem is that I don't have a really good set like I don't have a blazer and skirt set and I only have to be like super business professional sometimes because for the first six months I'm working at the foundation which is business professional every day but I can get away with some things y'all see what I'll wear tomorrow not get away with it but it's not like super stuffy because it's an office building but when I work on the hill the next six months that's a different story so I just want to always make sure that I have something professional to wear so yeah I ended up getting this one from Calvin Klein oh I was saying that I don't have a matching set so it's really easy to find a good blazer the question is can you find a skirt to wear the blacks match and they look good um, so the other jacket that I have is really nice and comfortable but I like to roll up the sleeves a little bit like the sleeves aren't long enough and it doesn't really look good with my skirts but it doesn't matter because I wear it with like dresses and things like that this was on sale clearance really for $32 so I had to pick it up similarly I saw this really nice blazer in this color like a nice camel color it has shoulder pads a little bit thicker to it the sleeves are nice and long and it has these like gold details on it the brand is called Ellie I believe Ellie Tahari never heard of it but this was $39 and yeah it fits really well it has a nice weight to it and I think I have one that's the same color. I think I do already have, what now what is my hair stuck? I think I do already have a blazer that is this color, but literally I got it from H&M like when I was in high school. So the quality is not good, it's faded, but it's like I haven't been able to find a blazer this color. I'm excited to wear that. And lastly, I got this dress, which I thought was also really nice for work and it'll also be really nice to wear in the colder months because it's like a sweater dress. And it looks like this. It has this really cute hound's tooth. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like black and green. And I love how it has like this detailed side here, which is black because it'll be really nice to wear with black tights, which again is really good for the colder months. And then it has like these little faux pockets in this dress. I could also wear this to church if I want to. It seems like it's going to be really comfortable, but again, also really warm. So a great way for me to dress during the wintertime at work. So that's really what I got from Marshall and Burlington. I ended up placing another order from um, Amazon Fresh. Realized that I didn't order bacon and I didn't realize when I placed my order that I was running out of breakfast wraps and just a few other things. So that should be coming in about an hour. Maybe I'll edit one short form content and then I'll start cooking dinner. Like I mentioned, I'm going to make spaghetti and then it should be time for my groceries to come and then I put those away then it'll be time for the live premiere so i will watch that with you guys comment and respond and then we'll do the sephora haul so talk to y'all later wow okay literally just kidding i went on amazon on my phone to start the return for something and then i saw that i never pressed submit for my amazon special work awkward so i can either walk to the whole foods or i can maybe go tomorrow I also forgot, oh, you know what? What I may do, by the way, this is the brand Studio 92, where my hair is from. I'm gonna go get my packages and I'm pretty sure this one is my bike lock. So I need to actually go downstairs. Okay. Ooh, uh, this is actually really exciting. It's a package from Lancome and I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping hey, this isn't my bike lock, <laughs> which is what I'm hoping, which is what I was hoping that it was because I need to go and test out my bike, right it before tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to bike to work and I need to make sure that A, I have a bike lock and B, dang, if I don't have a bike lock, I literally can't, I can't ride it. That sucks. That literally sucks. I thought it was going to be here. Let me see where it's at. Anyway, Lancome unboxing collection of some of my favorite Lancome products. This is by Mary Phillips. By Mary Phillips. Ooh, this is a whole thing. Wow. Oh, this is exciting because we have the mascara, Monsieur. 
feel like it's kind of dark. Big mascara. I'm actually excited because I really like Lancome's mascara and I'm not one to like purchase um, high-end mascaras. I think I'll probably really like this. But when you use their mascara plus their primer, honestly, it's my favorite thing to do when I'm just wearing my natural lashes, which I'm trying to do more because honestly, I just look prettier that way. Oh my gosh, what's this juicy tube? Wait, let me make sure I record this for Instagram. These are the juicy tubes. This is in the shade Dreamsicle. Haven't tried this either. Oh, cute. Oh, this is actually really great because... I need some more lip glosses for my car and stuff. Smells good, of course. Nice and thick. I like that. Nice and thick. Oh, I love this color pink. Pretty. So let's see. We have one in Dreamsicle. And then I think there's another one. How much not? Oh. Here it is. This one is in Magic Spell. Honestly, these give me like Laneige. I don't know. I kind of already had something on my lips. This one has sparkle in it though. I don't know about this one. We're going to try it out and we'll see. Um, I already have something on my lips, so I don't know. But I'm like, is this giving me super thick? Like, this is the Rouge Matte Intimate. Oh, Soft Matte Lipstick. Oh my gosh. The packaging. Oh, please don't play. Wow. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is where makeup becomes a collector's item. Like this feels like something my grandma would have. That's so cool. And I like the shade too, like I'll actually wear this. This is in the shade French Idol, by the way. Love that, super cool. What is this, oh is this another mascara? Sills Booster XL. Oh yes, it's the primer. I love the primer, y'all. I'm telling you, the Lancome primer, if you get nothing else, if you like to wear natural lashes, and I think even if you don't have really nice lashes, a good primer is like, oh, you know what? I need to get that from the Sephora sale. I completely forgot. I wanted to try out, I think it's um, Too Faced because you know they have like the Better Than Sex mascara that's like, you know, really really good i like it i just don't think it's necessary to spend that much money on a mascara but i was like you know what probably in combination with them with the primer it's actually probably even better so i was gonna get both of them but i forgot i mean the sale is still going on i could still get it but i also spent a lot of money anyway lancome la base Ooh, a nice priming priming a nice primer that's exciting we can always use a good primer and then what's this Youth Activating Concentrate. It's probably a serum. I also really like Lancome. I also really like Lancome skincare. But, like, please get into it. Please get into it. So nice. Um, what is this? 24 Hour Drama Liquid Pencil. It's in French Chocolate. This Oh, another mascara. This is the Hypnos Drama. Oh, I'm so excited because I know their mascaras eat. Like if you are a brand, great brush, great brush. If you're a brand who has multiple mascaras, that means you probably eat. Like, you know what I'm saying? You probably know the good formula. Yeah, they have different brushes. Very cool. Uh, I think I have one of these already. Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. But this one is in brown. I have it and I really like it and I use it a lot. But the one in black. I have unboxies on my channel before as well. But they're kind of like a pin liner. Really, really nice. Can y'all see that? And now I have another. And what is this? An art liner? Ooh. A good liquid liner. Ooh, a good black liquid liner from Lancome. Oh, this is interesting. Wow, Slay. This is nice. It's like black. It's like really dark and black. And I love how like short it is. Like not this part, but like I can tell that I can have really good control. Maybe I'll do a wing eyeliner tomorrow for the girls. Okay. 
Last thing in here, we have some bifacial. It look what? Oh, eye makeup remover. Nice, because all this is eye makeup stuff. And then we also have some samples of the sunscreen. All right, that's everything in here. And again, these are the favorites of Mary Phillips. So thank you so much, Lancome. I'm super excited to try out all the products that I haven't tried out yet and to get a replenish of the products that I do love. Alexa, what time is the sunset today? Sunset in Washington, D.C. will be at 6.09 p.m. today. Okay, so I've got about 40 minutes before the sun sets. So I guess I should take this time now and go and test out my bike. And then I'll just like keep it in the area until my bike lock comes and I'll go down and I'll get that tonight when it comes. Like, I'm cool, I cannot laugh Okay, dinner is made. The YouTube video is up. I'm currently watching it with you guys. Say hello to yourself if you see yourself in the chat. Oh, by the way, I'm back. I got my bike together. My bike is all set up. I'm ready to go. I'm just waiting for my lock to come. When the lock comes, if it comes tonight, then I will ride my bike tomorrow. And if not, it's cool. I may drive. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. But I'm going to eat, read these comments, and talk to y'all probably tomorrow. Alexa, pause. Good morning. Happy Thursday. So I was up really, really, really late last night trying to finish my edits for some things and just working on a whole bunch of like content creation stuff. Plus me eating dinner and reeling after some of the comments from the video. Um, I was up so late and I was like, why am I doing this to myself? Because I know out of all days, I actually have to go in to work on Thursday. So today has been a very rushed day and I was so tired, I kept pressing my alarm and I've been doing really good at waking up early. That's why I slept in yesterday because I was like, I know tomorrow I'm gonna have to wake up early. But then when you have a later start to your day, you kind of end your day later, you know, you have to be disciplined to still end it on time so you can wake up early the next day. That's like the key with waking up early. It's like you have to have discipline the night before. It sounds simple, but also can be like counterintuitive. Like, oh, duh, I forgot. I have to focus on waking up. <laughs> anyway, um, I say all of that to say that I'm running really late this morning. Well, I'm running on time, but I have to keep things short. So I decided that I'm not going to ride my bike to work today, which I'm super sad about. But I think I mentioned how there's like a freeze warning going on. I don't know why or how it just got like super cold out of nowhere. But I didn't get my bike lock yesterday. And so I'm like, okay, it's just best that I don't try and like stress out and like try and have to be downstairs and get a concierge person to get my package before like leaving. And then like I've biked before, so I do know that it's faster, but just for today, I'm gonna drive. Even though it's like, it's not faster, it is faster just to get in my car and go, if that makes any sense. Especially because um, I didn't get my groceries so I can't make like a to-go wrap or I think I may have one wrap left but I think I'm gonna take breakfast to go and I can't eat breakfast to go when I'm biking <laughs> so yeah I'm basically just going to drive to work today this is that I don't have too many things on my to-do list so it's actually just a really great time for me to like be in community hey community with other people low-key high-key um, which I think is really helpful I think it's the biggest difference between being virtual last year my Harry program versus like this hybrid job there are just enough things that we do in person to where I know my cohort members and we hang out and stuff and also like I still have literally so much free time with all of my days but why I decided to put banana powder under my eyes today y'all ever just do your makeup and then start doing things that you don't normally do <laughs> like that's literally what just happened but I'm like okay I'm here now so I guess I'll just roll with it it's because I'm talking to you guys my hands are showing out with that being said, I literally have this really cute outfit that I wanted to wear today that I had planned. But since I'm driving, I'm like, oh, this would be a really great day. I don't always make these adjustments, but in my mind, I kind of do know that if I'm going to drive, then it's 
best to it's not best to wear a dress but I should wear a skirt or a dress mainly on the days that I decide to drive or end up having to drive like tomorrow I mentioned we have professional development and that's at a different location that I I probably could bike there low-key but I'm not going to um so yeah I'm not gonna bike there so that's a great day to wear a dress or a skirt because even though I will bike in a dress and a skirt and heels it's obviously nicer to do it in pants and I have probably more pants outfits than I have skirts and dresses or equal amount so especially when it's like starting to cool down like it's not cold yet um on the days where I'm like okay it's a little bit cold today like let me wear some pants that's the days that I should bike but because today I'm like oh it's actually kind of cold but I'm driving it was like me trying to figure out my outfit like I want to wear a skirt anyway none of this really matters for real <laughs> the point is that i'm getting ready for work we just made a few adjustments to our morning routine but you know every week is different it's one thing when you go into work every day because then it's all about like routine but because i don't go in every day literally every week looks different and also i have my hair done i got this done on saturday and it's thursday so they haven't seen my hair and it's still very new it's six weeks so it's my first time like having a sewing with them so i also was like oh i want to make sure i look cute today you know because you know how when you debut your hair for the first time you gotta look cute <laughs> so that also was going on through my mind i always forget how pigmented these juvia place bl blushes are like every time i'm like i do too much because i go back and forth between using the juvia's place and the rare beauty one and the fenty ones and those you can pack on these you'll be giving clown. <laughs> you'll do too much and you'll be giving clown. basically right now discussing because in two weeks we have this summit the national racial equity initiative summit so we're coming up with the different ideas for the panelists and for the um like different activation things that we're doing the moderators the questions stuff like that so now we basically have the entire day to ourselves to break off we have an assignment that we have to do kind of where it's like we're meeting up into pairs or actually groups of three and so i'm about to go meet up with my group and come up with the questions for the panelists and then I have like individual assignments that I'm going to do afterwards which we have a capstone project at the end of the fellowship and so I pitched my idea it was approved and now I have to do like the actual official proposal for it and then also the outline for it they're not due for a couple of weeks that's really all I have to do work-wise so and they're providing lunch for us today so even though I brought my lunch, we're going to eat from this place called Immigrant Foods, which I've never tried before. But yeah, that's how my day is going. The hair is so cute. Like, it just serves. I feel like I should like it long, but anyway. That's my update. I'm going to head back in and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay guys, it's time for book review and book haul. So I finally finished The Hate You Give. Isn't the cover so cute? This is the collector, oh by the way, I'm home from work. This is the collector's edition. I finally finished it and in perfect timing too because I think I told you guys about how at work we are planning the National Racial Equity Initiative Summit, which is the NREI. That's specifically the name of the overarching research fellowship that I'm in. One of the sessions that we're going to have during the summit is talking about banned books and uh, the removal of the African-American 
in history AP classes and just African American history in general in some states and kind of like the policy and things to change for that and so I thought it was really really cool and because I've been on booktube and book talk I've been hearing a lot about goodreads and obviously I think I told you guys I listen and I read the book at the same time but sometimes when I'm like riding my bike to work or running errands or doing something I can listen to the audiobook and get it through faster but I do like having a physical copy and that's what took me so long to finish the book because I wanted to like you know finish the last couple of pages with a book in my hand um anyway basically we're doing like this whole activation room called make your good reads audible where people are going to be able to go through the room and like leave voice recordings and like book reviews for all these banned books and kind of show people why they should be banned and how they have been impactful and amazing now i haven't read a lot y'all know that i'm really getting back into my reading era now or maybe y'all don't know because i'm just coming back from sabbatical but i'm getting back into my reading era as you guys know when i'm in school it's very hard to like find books as leisure I mainly just like to watch YouTube videos but now I have more time to read so I really just want to read more especially more fun books I loved 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 this book I think I told you guys about how I actually read the prequel to this book called Concrete Rose you can see it here this one came out after this book but just looking at young adult books I think in like 20 it had to have been either 2020 or 2021 because it had to be 2021 this came out 2021 2021 i read the prequel to this book concrete rose and i just found it on amazon looking up like you know good books by black authors and i read that book and i loved it because i was like oh my gosh like i forgot i didn't know that this is how people were writing because i feel like i haven't really read a book literally since like hunger games and then i realized like oh it's actually a trilogy and this is the second book in the series so i've had this book for a long time but with it being super thick and again just me not reading uh it took me a minute to start it but it did take me a long time to finish it especially doing the audiobook slash the physical copy method that I'm now doing so I loved it out of the five or so books that I've read this year two of them being like self-help Christian books memoirs it's also very difficult because I was doing this discipleship class with my church and we had a devotional that we had to read in the morning time and the evenings I'm used to doing morning devotionals I normally don't read in the morning but evening times it's like the best time for me to read and so having to do my devotional right before I go to sleep would usually tire me out too much to get to my book or decrease the amount of reading time that I had so that was like for eight weeks so that also decreased my anyway the point is I finished this book I liked it out of the few books that I have read this year so far since like finishing school and picking back up reading it's my favorite I think that it is really really well written it's funny i found myself laughing out loud and i'm like ha 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 but like a good chuckle every now and then i loved the characters everybody there was nobody who was annoying or who did too much like i loved the storyline i loved the purpose of it and i said all that to say earlier about the national racial equity initiative summit that i cannot believe that people want to ban this book i think this book is so important because if you don't relate to her story like obviously as a black girl a black woman but like who was once a young black girl like no i didn't grow up in the hood but we all relate in some way to this character if you are a black woman whether you have a, a male best friend or you know your dad or whatever like there's so many different ways you can relate to this character or the different characters in this book and see yourself and have empathy with those who suffer from the hands of police brutality like the entire black race and so it really makes me sad that they banned this book because i feel like if white people and others who don't fully understand like you can't always get a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody and learn from their experiences and therefore have empathy because you know somebody who's gone through something and you don't want every single white person to have to have known a black person who has had a bad experience with police brutality or who has had a close friend be killed in order for you to have empathy for them so i think that's where literature becomes super important because it's able to like share make you feel something and it not be an actual real story but be real enough to where you get the gist of it and people don't have to suffer and you, like i just i don't think that it should be bad i think that people should have to read this book actually so i love it so so much and um i'm really excited to see what we do at the summit time to leave a book review i'll also leave mine hopefully a little bit more eloquent than that but 
you get the gist i love the book um i don't know if i'm gonna rate my books because i'm like can i really talk about book ratings i don't know what is a perfect five star for me but i would maybe say this is like a 4.8 like i really really like this book um i would probably listen to it again but i have so many books on my tbr to be read I have so many books on my TBR. So I'm gonna go through them with you guys, the physical copies that I have. And then I also have like a Notion template. You know, people will give you book recommendations and then you just kind of forget. And then it's also really good to go back and look and kind of track all the things that you have read, the ones that you like, what you rated them and things like that. So this is what my Notion kind of looks like, if it makes any sense. So like up here, this is like called my bookshelf. So these are the ones that I have physical copies of. And then down here, these are like suggestions of books that people have recommended to me. And it has different categories. So um, the title, the author, and if I own it or not, and then the genre, and then like the link to it. And then the one for the bookshelf is the title, the author status. So it's either reading, to be read, or read. And then I do my rating, date started, date finish, the formats so like hardcover, audiobook, paperback, and then the genre. And I didn't create this myself. This was a Notion template, but I I really loved it. And I was putting some stuff in it today because y'all, I was such a chatterbox at work today. I can't believe that I still have the capacity to want to hold a conversation. And today's Jasmine's birthday. And so I just called her and I was on the phone with her. And then like somebody else wants me to call them and I'm literally like, I don't want to talk anymore. But I have two things that I've been promising my YouTube family. So Clearly, it's like, I don't know how I'm still talking, but I keep doing it. Okay, let's go over my TBR with my Amazon book haul. So each one of them kind of has a different reason why. The first book that I'm going to read, da, 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 da. I think I told you guys about this. Did I already talk about it? Or maybe I showed somebody else the book. But this is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. And this is the prequel to The Hunger Games. So like I mentioned, The Hunger Games is probably like the last book that I read. Um, and I loved it. I think y'all know I love The Hunger Games. I was even just thinking like it gives fall. Like I need to rewatch it. And I'm probably going to, I'm going to read this book and I'm going to watch all the Hunger Games and then I'm going to go and watch the movie. It comes out on the 17th. It is the second. I think I can finish this in 15 days. Like the rate that I'm going so far, I think I'm doing really good. So I did end up getting, obviously you can see the physical copy and I also got the audio book. So, and I have a subscription to Audible and I got the subscription and then I like waited a little bit to start. So I have like credits just on credits. Um, I know it's like expensive to do it both ways, like to buy the book twice, but that's what helps me get through them. And I'm in a really good like reading zone right now. So I'm gonna read this and then I will give you guys my review and then I'll watch the movie. Oh, also I do know that this is a movie and I am going to watch the movie next. I don't know where to watch it on, but I personally am like a read a book first, then watch the movie kind of girl because my experience with that was with Hunger Games. I never read Twilight. I mean, yeah, I never read Twilight and I never read uh, Harry Potter. So this was definitely like my fantasy dystopia like type of thing that like all tweens and like teens kind of go through when it comes to if you read books. This was my jam and I read the books first and then watched the movies. Loved them both. I re-watched the movies more like I don't even have the books anymore. I'm pretty sure my mom got rid of them. But the um, point is that I am going to watch the movie but I wanted to read the book first. So because the movie is coming out and I want to watch it in theaters, I'm going to make sure that I read this next. Basically, I am hopping around between like three different series. So this is the prequel to this series which I've already read. So I'm going to read this book and then I'm going to watch the movie. I've already read the prequel to this book and now I've read this one. I'm going to watch the movie and then the third book in this series is actually now in my TBR. This is called On the Come Up, which is exciting because I'm going to have all three of them together. But I really like Angie Rose, black author, really like her writing. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to get the third one. I liked the first one and I didn't even know that she was the same author, like I said, who wrote this book. I get why this book is amazing. I thought that book was amazing. So I'm sure this one is also going to be amazing. This is the cover. Again, it's called Off On the Come Up and it is a continuation of the story. I don't know from whose perspective because the first book on Concrete Girls, it's in my room, but I don't feel like going to get it. Um, that one is from Maverick, the dad's perspective. This one is from Star, the daughter's perspective. So I'm curious if this continues on as Star or if it goes in somebody else's. Oh, 
I can read it right here. 16 year old Brie wants to be one of the greatest rappers of all times. I don't know if she, is this a continuation of the story or is it just in the same world? I'm not sure, but ooh, a fresh book. So I don't know what order I'm gonna read this, but it's on my TBR. So this is on my TBR. Also on my TBR, I should probably just go get the book. <sighs> I'm back. So this is the first book in the series. So this is all of them together. Shout out to Angie Rose. I actually think that I like want to ask them if we can do a book signing for a black author at the summit because let me tell you what the CBCF okay they got connections they got money you ask and you shall receive so I will definitely ask them we may not be able to get Angie Rose and the summit is like in a week and a half but we can definitely get an author a black owned author especially one if their book is like on the band list anyway going back to my TBR so I also did a book review on this for my 26th birthday is when I finished this. This is Black Girls Must Die Exhausted by Jane Allen, another black author. I really like this book and I remember um, I was like crying at the ending of it. I thought it was really, really good. Oh, I forgot I had this as a bookmark. Um, I think I showed you guys in the Amazon haul though, but I have these as bookmarks, which are super cute because they're magnetic. So which I really like. Anyway, um, this was like one of the first fiction books that I read. I read this again around the same, I read this after this book. This is maybe like in 2021 and this is like in 2022. Like it was giving one book a year, but listen, slowly but surely I'm getting into it. I really like this book and it is a trilogy. So I read the second book, but I actually did that one completely through Audible. And that's when I realized like, I like Audible, but I really wish I had the physical copy book. So I finished that pretty quickly. I think it was only like five hours hours um so it didn't take me long at all and I really liked it and I liked the continuation of the story the second one wasn't as good as the first one but like it was still good so I did end up buying the third one that way I can finish it so I have like the first and the third but I don't have the second but it's okay like it, it's fine I don't even really have a bookshelf my bookshelf has shoes on it anyway this is the third book here in the series it's called black girls must have it all this one is also very small like especially in comparison to the hate you give it's like i should be able to finish this really quickly as well um i'm not pressed to finish this one right away i think that tbr like i said i'm definitely gonna go with this one and i think the problem is which i've heard a lot of people on book talk and book booktube talk about is that if you read kind of like one bad book or you're just not into it it can really put you in a reading slump and so i've read kind of like three good books back to back to back so i don't want to mess it up i have good faith in hunger games then it kind of makes me want to go back to either you know this one or that one i say all that to say that Something that has really messed me up is that I've realized that I just want to be in my fiction zone right now. Um, I currently have Atomic Habits that I'm reading as like my self-help book. It kind of is a lot, especially with the amount of like YouTube and Netflix that I watch. But I try and have one devotional, one self-help book, and then one fiction book. I'll definitely pick up my devotional consistently and my self-help book less consistently. And then my fiction book I can like read on the go but I do have Atomic Habits that I'm reading right now. I just think that I'm not a memoir girl and it just makes it really difficult to finish them. Like it really slowed me down. It took me a long time. I wasn't picking up the book. I was like watching TV more. With that being said, this next book is a memoir, but I think I'm really gonna like it. It comes um, highly recommended and I just love this girl. Bamboozle by Jesus. This is by Yvonne Orji. If you guys don't know, she uh, was one of the characters in, this is also a pretty thin book. I love this cover, um, in Insecure. And she is a Christian. She's a Christian woman. <laughs> it says, this is not a self-help book. It's a get yours book. That she's actually really funny and super charismatic. I will probably also get the audiobook for this because if she narrates it herself, I think that would be really funny. This also isn't too long, so I hopefully should be able to get through it pretty quickly. But again, I've heard good things about it, so I wanted to add this to my list. I'm kind of like, I want to know if it's good but I'm scared because I feel like if I get into this it could really like slow down my reading stuff but anyway we'll see point is that these are all of the books on my TBR that is my book review and my book haul mm -hmm. 
She's a reading girl. She's in her reading era. I love it. I love it. With that being said, let us go and do this makeup haul as if I haven't talked to you guys enough for today. Let me know if you guys read uh, The Light We Carry. I did like it. Like there were some things that I highlighted. I did like it, but I had to listen to this on like two times speed. It just didn't. I just don't think I'm into memoirs. Let's do the Sephora haul. Everything that I got from the Sephora sale. So first things first, I did end up purchasing three things that are going to come at a later date. Well, two of them are actually perfumes. Now, they're the same perfume. It's the Prada something intense i'll show you guys in a future vlog when i get it actually i got one for me and one for my mom i also got the danessa myricks balm we'll try that out one day i've never tried any of her products before but when i went to go get my hair done and i was telling my salon it's like oh yeah i'm super excited about the sephora sale she literally was like danessa myricks i said okay excuse me like i didn't ask <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about i don't even know who that is and I have heard of like the yummy skin thing on Instagram or no on TikTok. So actually I did end up getting that. The yummy skin serum skin tint. I'm in the shade 12. At least that's what it looks like when I put it on. So we'll try this out maybe tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. It depends on how early I wake up because I low key need to do the same kind of face like something quick. And on the go next thing that i got is actually going to be my sister's christmas gift once again my sister now my sister does not watch my youtube video so i should be absolutely fine similarly my sister is really really into perfume so this is like a really nice gift set and honestly if you wait until december to try and get these they're low-key already sold out so this is the deluxe perfume sampler where you get to try five different perfumes and then you can choose one of them for a full size and i don't know i know she really likes good girl i smelled this replica in store and i liked it and i also really liked this uh sole de Nero. i actually ended up purchasing this one for myself but not this one the pink one and not because it's pink but because i like this smell i was really considering this for a while now i was like dang i don't i wish that they do have this in a perfume but then it's like expensive like a perfume i'm like i i like it but i think it's like too much for a body spray but i decided that there's a lot of times like especially when i'm just working from home but i want to smell good i don't need to be putting on my perfume but i do want to smell good and i may step out so there are days where i could get like an in-between something like this and also this is good for like your um hair so i'll spray this in my hair we'll see if i get some compliments on it anyway i'm talking so fast because i'm like i just want to be done talking for the day this is gonna be my sister's christmas gift i may get her something else as well but um for now i think that this is going to be good because she likes perfumes oh i was super excited about this i've shared a few times before how i use this product i normally get my ordinary from ulta i didn't know that they had it at sephora but this is the alpha arbutin arbutin two percent ha i didn't know they had one in this big bottle mine is actually the smaller one next thing i got some products from huda beauty i've only tried huda's eyeshadow palette which is nice but nothing to run home about but i got three products from her this time so i love doing a good concealer and foundation uh, combination from one brand it just makes me happy you don't have to it doesn't really matter um so i'm gonna try hers out this foundation this is the faux filter luminous matte foundation and i'm in the shade 455r buttercup and i'm not normally red i'm either neutral or warm but i did put it on my hand and i matched it next to my nars foundation which is my perfect match so Hopefully it looks okay on the face, especially because I'm like obviously losing my summer tan. And then this is the Faux Filter Concealer and I got this in the shade 6.3 Neutral Praline. So we'll try these out maybe on Sunday. I actually didn't tell you guys because this vlog is so long. On Sunday I will be wearing a full face church because afterwards I'm walking in the fashion show. So maybe then I'll try out this foundation and concealer. And then I also got the Faux Filter Color Corrector. I got mine in the shade Papaya. I feel like I've seen a lot of people use the shade uh, Mango or it was something like the shade right before it but I wanted something that was a little bit less red, but I do use color corrector every day. Honestly, let me tell you guys about the product that I use that nobody talks about, but I adore. Now, granted, oh, this thing is actually almost empty. I need to get a new one. It is 9 p.m. I've had this on since 8 a.m., so ignore my face looks like. But this is the CoverGirl 
clean fresh skincare color correcting serum moisturizer primer i love this they call it a dark spot neutralizer and it's exactly that i usually just put on like three dots one here one here and one on my chin and then i use a brush to blend it out and then like for today for example like i don't have on foundation i just put on the elf halo glow liquid filter this is like my skincare because these are good for your skin it makes me look radiant and then i just put on concealer blush mascara and I do my brows and then that's it, that's done. Like that's my quick face. When I put on a dark lip, it makes it look like I have on a lot of makeup, but honestly I don't. On the days that I don't use that, I can definitely use this. So pretty, I love the packaging. Oh, I'm super excited about this. I hope I actually like it. This is the one size powder. I got it in the shade uh, Sweet Honey. I like a yellow powder. And here's the thing, I have the OOG. Are y'all ready for this? Who knows about this? Do y'all know about this? This is the Patrick Star Mac translucent powder. And everybody raved about this. They were like, it's so good. And I never use this powder. I never use it. It's not bad, but it's not super good. And I realized, like, it's so cute with this little puff. I realized the reason why is, one, because of the packaging. Like, it's actually really hard to, like, get this out. It's also really big, so I don't like to travel with it. And I don't love translucent I think I'm just too brown for the translucent it's not my favorite I personally like a yellow I think it really like brightens me up it yeah so I didn't want to get the translucent one so I got the sweet honey one I know they also have a pink one I actually haven't tried pink translucent powder uh let me know if you have and if you like it love the packaging the pink and the red cute of course I wanted the spray but it was sold out so yeah we will try this out as well it probably isn't a good idea to do like a whole face of new makeup before a big event, but I'm gonna try it out. Currently what I use for my banana powder is literally the OG Ben Nye banana powder. I've been using it for years. I still will repurchase it because it come it, they came out in the ones like this, which I think I just get from Amazon, but I literally only have a little bit left in here. Like it's, it's basically almost done. So I was like, okay, maybe I can finally use the other ones that y'all use now i have also tried like the sasha buttercup setting powder i use it sometimes like to carve out the rest of my face but underneath my eyes i think it's just a little too dark it's like a little bit too yellow then i also use the laura mercier uh this is the translucent wow maximum recording because i'm talking so much anyway this is the translucent honey i remember not liking this when it was the translucent one i got the translucent honey it's actually what i wore today underneath my eyes i don't know why so i guess i guess i'm just like low-key trying to get rid of it again i'm not in love the only one that i really love is the ben nye one so this one has some competition we will see if i don't like it i will return it and i will get and i will repurchase my ben nye like that's just how it is you know what i'm saying okay next product that i got i showed you guys this when i went into the store this is the urban decay eyeshadow in moon dust actually i want to try it out right now as just an ever so slight sparkle not glitter but sparkle which i think is like really really okay i just have to rip this whole thing open like why do y'all make packaging so difficult to get into like why am i struggling here anyway that's what it looks like let me know if you guys have this below and if you like it it's like very that's what it looks like okay let's see cute cute y'all probably can't tell it's like it adds oh it's so pretty it's just like this ever so slight shimmer but it's like you can't do it with anything like i don't know how they did this formula pretty i like it can you use it anywhere else on your face like what does it look like as a highlighter i'm so oily okay I think I told you guys about how I wanted to get a powder that mimicked the powder that I use all the time in my Juvia's Place palette. This is the Juvia's Place Warrior palette and I really always use this shade whenever I do an all matte look and I do a cut crease and I wanted one that kind of was similar. So I got this one and this is in the shade Secret Bordeaux. We'll see if it ends up working out. 
And last but not least, I got, oh my gosh, I forgot I got this. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I have been wanting to try this. I low-key, high-key didn't need this, but it was one of the things that was at the checkout line. You know, they always get you in the checkout line. So this is in the shade vanilla or whatever i think people say that they like this one the best i need to go to bed because i have to wake up early tomorrow i need to leave around 8 40. see y'all in the morning <laughs> Happy Friday! Let me show you guys my outfit of the day. I'm heading to work. Like I mentioned to you guys, we have PD today, which is professional development. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit a little bit more later on, but real cute, real cute. We have to go into a different office today for PD. And we're meeting up with the entire cohort, which is always really fun. And then afterwards, we're doing like a happy hour, but like at 2 p.m. because it's from 9 to 1. So I'll keep you guys updated. End up providing lunch and I'm gonna grab my water. I'll probably get coffee there and we should have a great day. I'll see you guys later. They said they was gonna provide us with breakfast, but it really ended up being donuts and there was no coffee. So I was so tired the entire time. This week, we or this month, it's like we do professional development once a month. They had a lot of amazing people who have amazing connections, but it was all about finances and also kind of like HR. So that was really cool and interesting. And then afterwards, we decided to go to one of my fellow cohort members' apartments, to like go on her rooftop or like in her little, you know, apartment area to do like a happy hour like a happy hour at home type of vibe and we finished at one so we met up there around 2 p.m and we had a good time and now i'm on my way to go to dinner uh so i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel that way you don't miss a notification for me and to do so you also have to make sure you ring the bell follow me on my social media at reeling.hunt and live each day to the fullest because you only live once and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye